Hey, what's up and good morning, everybody. Thanks for clicking on the video. This is David Pendleton continuing the Rocky Mountain Tournament Rookie Division opening round. This will be holes number four, holes number five, and holes number six. Again, if you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope the content helps you out enough that you hit the subscribe button. It'd be awesome if everybody hit that thumbs up button before leaving the video. Let's take a look here at hole number four. Going to play at 15% max. We're going to go one bar of backspin, one bar of side spin to the right. Here we do have a little bit of a glitchy needle, but it's okay. After we set our spins, we can find the offset position right here. So just really take a look here at where I'm where I'm lining up in the rough. You can see that my yellow ring is almost touching the top of the rough line, but there is a little bit of separation. Um, so my entire yellow ring is in the rough line with a little bit of the rough, um, with a little bit of my, I guess, my orange ring there, as you can see. Low wind here, so uh, I continued to get low wind in practice and in real mode. So we'd have to kind of think about what would happen in higher wind, but you do see here with a perfect ball, I am able to snag the hole in one, which is always nice. That ball pretty much came in dead center. So hole in one there on hole number four. I also do pick up the eagle here on hole number five. So, so far off to a strong start as far as replays go. Hopefully this stuff is helping everybody out. A couple different things here. You know, I should have just not uh, aimed here, but it, it works out at the end of the day. Three bars of top spin, one bar of side spin to the left. Really, I should have just aimed this more center and used right spin, if anything. But this is what happens when you start playing this game around 4.30 in the morning. Sometimes you just do weird things like this for some reason. At the end of the day, all we're trying to do is just get this ball to land on the fairway, coming in on the right-hand side of that sand trap. So just like this. That's it. All we want to do is get this ball somewhere around here, and we're going to give ourselves a chance for an eagle. We're going to go 10% at minimum distance of our sniper. I'm going to apply my backspin. You'll see here, I go with about 5.2 bars of backspin. Then I get my ball guide line going down through the hole. And then I make my pull here. At minimum distance of the club. So remember that minimum distance here. Perfect ball. Gets this thing to come in with the slow roll drop into the cup. Barely snuck it in there, but did get it in for the eagle. So, you know, always nice. And now we go to hole number six here. Hole number six. Now, okay, we'll, we'll talk about this for a second because some of you are going to be able to uh, take a better shot than what I was able to take here. And so... What I mean by that is if you have an extra mile eight or below, you're going to have a more difficult time playing this shot like we did in the qualifying round. In the qualifying round, we took a berserker, and we were really able to power the ball through the rough here. So, you know, aiming here, top spin, getting the ball to land up here on this fairway. Now, if you have an extra mile nine, you'll be able to make that shot pretty easily with a Titan ball. Um, extra mile eight, I could not get it to land consistently on that top fairway with the Berserker and full overpower. I even tested pushing up three, um, uh, three yards, five yards. I spent more time on this hole than I'd really like to admit for a opening round. But regardless, it's not going to be consistent for me to tell you if you have an extra mile eight or below to try to go bombs away. Now, of course, if you have things like a power three ball and a top spin boost ball, you'll be able to make it. Uh, but I do everything free to play here on Rookie. So I'm just going to show you a 0% max shot. And we're going to be going for a rough bump albatross opportunity. Three bars of backspin, two bars of side spin to the left. But again, if you do have the club, if you do have the balls and the power, uh, definitely go bombs away because you're going to have yourself a short thorn shot uh, for the albatross, just like we did in the qualifying round. 
Notice here that I'm using left curl. So basically for me, I'm using left curl until the right side of my, my Titan ball is almost fully out of that center target. Then I take my shot. You do not want to overpower this ball. Keep in mind, I used three bars of back spin. There does seem to be a little bit of a hill here that you catch that could roll you down into the rough, which would be deadly. So make sure you're very, very careful on that drive. Now that'll take us to our rough bump albatross opportunity. This shot definitely needs work. It's not even close, but at least with a perfect ball, it does give you uh, some type of starting point to see what happens. Four mile per hour tailwind. So I thought I would just put the ball directly at the hole there, thinking that I would get some type of, you know, push to the hole. But, uh, you know, I was wrong. I do pull it in 0% at max. You'll see here we have no problem catching the nice part of the rough but it just dies on us, leaving us a couple of green squares short of the pin. So as holes four, five, and six, was able to get two drops to show you out of those three holes. So like I said, so far, so good. Hope you're hitting perfect balls. Hope you're getting these things to drop. Best of luck, everybody.